it's Lizzie from Old Stables Crafts. Thank you for joining me again today. Today I am going to show you some of the swaps that I received whilst I was at on stage in Orlando. I say some because I've got about 150 and that's probably too many for anyone and also an awful lot of them, I'm really disappointed, have no names on them. So I have no idea where they, well, I know where they came from. They came from on stage in Orlando, but I don't know who made them. Um, sorry, I'm just readjusting a lamp there. Um, so I like to be able to say this was made by so-and-so. Um, and for some reason, American demonstrators seem to be very shy about sharing the swaps and that they made them and what they used to make them with. Um, so I'm just, let's see if I can grab what I mean. So, I mean, there's masses in here. So here you are, nice card. Um, it's a full card, nothing. I know what it was made with mostly, but I have no, I can't say thank you. And that's ironic because it's a thank you card. Um, and there were a huge, huge, huge number uh, that I got that are similar. Um, so I'm going to start with two very, very special swaps. This is the first one. Now, this actually doesn't have a name on it, but I do know who this came from, or at least I know her first name. So um, many of the people who follow me on social media are in the States and some are demonstrators, which is lovely. I have absolutely no problem with that. I love that um, I'm helping inspire other people and that's, that's absolutely perfect in my book. I have no problem with it at all. But I did find it slightly odd because I've only been a demonstrator for just over two years. Um, and okay, I did go to Orlando, but I, I found it slightly odd and incredibly humbling that there were ladies um, in Orlando who were asking pretty much anyone who had a Union flag anywhere near them whether they knew me. Um, and the mostly the ladies that they were asking were those that are in the top 10 in the UK um, or indeed in the top 100 globally. Um, so yeah, anyway. So this beautiful little treat box was made by a lady called Kimberly. I didn't catch her surname and I'm sorry, Kimberly. Um, I wish I had, but it, ugh, I was just, it was just a very, very busy few days. Um, and it's got a little tea, a tea light in there. Um, so I was really thrilled that, um, that she found me and gave me this lovely swap. And I don't have this die, so even better. So, Kimberly, thank you very much. It was a pleasure to meet you. Um, I'm sorry we didn't spend more time together. It would have been great to have got to know you a bit better. Um, but thank you very much indeed, and thank you for your support um, watching my YouTube. Um, so, yes, there we are. So that was that's one very special swap. The other very special swap that I got was this, um, and it's a tiny little envelope, um, and I actually got more than one of these, um, because the, the lady concerned was insistent that I have more than one, and it's a little fridge magnet, so it's got a little magnet on the back, um, and it's got all sorts of, so this is from the animal um, suite, the animal outing suite, and this is the garden impressions. Um, but it's the card that she did to go with these. Um, her name's Lucinda. I'm sorry, Lucinda, I'm going to not make a good go at your name. Uh, so Lucin Lucinda Vick Gosden. Um, and I gather that her husband is from the UK. Uh, and she again um, wanted to meet me. And not only did she want to meet me, um, she has very kindly, uh, on her information, put envelope per Lizzie video, which is just, I'm, I'm stunned. 
absolutely stunned. Um, thank you very much indeed. Um, it's it's great. So those two are two very, very special swaps that I will treasure for a long time. Um, I, as I say, I'm completely humbled that anyone should, it, with six and a half thousand people to choose from, um, find me. So thank you for that. So I have a small selection of other swaps. So the first one is this one, which is gorgeous. And this was made by my upline, Michelle Last. It is really pretty. It's um, a little um, uh, four by four card um, and it uses first frost and it's really pretty. And it shows that really you don't need very much to make a stunning card. So that's that. This one is, an, is made by one of my heroes um, and this was made by Brian King. I was thrilled to be able to meet him at an event that was organised by Michelle, Brian and um, the next person whose swap I've got. Um, we had an evening with the uh, three teams mixing together um, and it was it was just fantastic. Uh, and Sarah Douglas came along and Mary Fish was there and yeah, it was a very special evening. This was made by Brian King. So yeah. And this was made by Louise Sharp, who came all the way from New Zealand. Oh, sorry, Australia. Sorry, sorry, Louise, you're Australian, not New Zealand. Um, so, yes, really pretty. Um, and she also gave me some biscuits. Um, so, yeah, stunning. So the three of them, Brian, Louise and Michelle, um, arranged this event. And um, it was a great, great evening. So next we have got, um, and this was one of the swaps I got at that event from Helene Denbrigen, who is another of Michelle's um, downline. Uh, really pretty card, don't have this stamp set, um, but really, really pretty. Um, and obviously she came, I say obviously, but she came from the Netherlands to join us. Um, this is from Elizabeth Maryfield Hart, who is in Arkansas, Little Rock, North Little Rock. I'm going to cough, apologies. <coughs> this uses the Snowflake Showcase. Um, so she obviously made this very much at the last minute. Um, really pretty, really bright swap. So that's great. Thank you for that. Um, then we're going for a more subdued Christmas look with the um, snowmen, the spirited snowmen. Uh, and this was made by Sharon Walker, who is in... Powder Springs, Georgia. Um, so again, really nice. I love this, the three twines tied together. Might be nicking that idea. Um, really fresh colour scheme, one I would not have thought of putting together. And this is from Carol Gaines, who is one of Brian's team, and she is also from Georgia. This is from, ooh, the paper pixie, Julie DiMatteo. Um, I watch quite a lot of her videos. Um, really pretty, and it's got shimmer paint on it. Really, really pretty. Really pretty. I don't have this stamp set either. Um, a scissor charm from Leslie Carmen. Don't know where she's from. Um, but, yeah. I will add that to my scissors. Because, as you know, I like a scissor charm. Uh, this is from Barb Paffenroth, who is from WI. Is that Wisconsin? Hopefully Wisconsin, some prairie. Uh, and again, shimmer mist or shimmer paint misted on. Very pretty. Um, this is from Lottie. Oh, Lottie, I'm sorry. I'm not even going to attempt that. But one of our Dutch team members. Um, and it's a desk diary and it's lovely so that will be sitting on my desk so I'll know what date it is even if I don't know what time it is because my clock has stopped um, that was a bit random uh, so another really pretty card and this uses um, one of the stamp sets that's for one of the kits in the autumn winter catalogue and this is Jack Jackie Beers from Dakula, Georgia 
So really nice idea. Very, I love this. I mean, it's so simple, but so effective. Um, now, I haven't used this nearly enough. Uh, this is from Sharon Giuliano. Don't know where you are, Sharon, but um, this is the Under the Sea, can't remember what it's called, stamp set. Um, don't have this punch. I think I mm, haven't used the... Um, embossing folder. This is Brandy Barnard. So yeah, very nice to get a Brandy Barnard card. Um, and that's from Linden, Utah. Really pretty. Like that a lot. So yes, got to meet some really impressive people. Uh, Fran Lynn. Um, don't know why Jan card. Anyway, um, there we are. I like the champagne. And last but not least, I don't have this set either, Peaceful Reflection. It's um, by Katie Ferguson. And again, I can't tell you where she is, I'm afraid. Um, but very pretty. So these are just some of the swaps. Um, as I say, I got way over 100. They were almost exclusively cards or card fronts. Um, some 3D, but mostly cards. Um, and as I say, a very, very disappointing number that have no information. So, um, yeah, I don't know what the, I don't know what the deal is with that. But anyway, so I hope you found those interesting. You maybe get some inspiration from them. Thank you very much indeed for watching me and I will see you again very soon.